I thank the representative of the Russian Federation for her statement. And I now give the floor to the representative of China. We have the floor, please. Mr. President, I thank S.G. Guterres for his briefing and I welcome the presence of Ambassador Ahmad, permanent representative of Ethiopia, to this meeting. At present, the situ situation in Ethiopia is facing many challenges. Maintaining peace and stability of the country and ensuring peaceful coexistence of all ethnic groups is not only in the common interests of the Ethiopian people, but also vital to peace and the security of the Horn of Africa. It is also the goal that the international community makes joint efforts for. We hope all parties in Ethiopia will resolve conflicts and dif differences through political dialogue, ease tensions, and avoid further escalation of conflicts so as to create conditions for achieving peace and reconciliation. China welcomes the Ethiopian government's recent um, efforts in alleviating the situation in Tigray and neighboring areas. In the meantime, affected by conflicts, the humanitarian situation in some Ethiopian states has become increasingly grave and the humanitarian needs in states such as Amhara and Afar have increased. We hope all parties in Ethiopia will continue to make efforts to expand humanitarian access and ensure the timely delivery of humanitarian goods to its people. China has provided emergency food assistance to the Tigray region and we call on the international community to step up humanitarian assistance. International humanitarian agencies, while carrying out their work, should uphold the guiding principles of the UN for humanitarian assistance and respect the sovereignty of Ethiopia. China firmly supports Ethiopia's efforts in safeguarding national sovereignty and unity and will continue to support the Ethiopian people in achieving national peace, stability, development and prosperity. We hope the international community will support the Ethiopian government in achieving a comprehensive and lasting ceasefire and effectively promoting national reconciliation. China opposes interference by external forces in Ethiopia's internal affairs in the name of human rights and humanitarianism. We support the AU and the regional countries to resolve African issues in the African way and welcome the appointment of the former ambassador of Nigeria, Obasanjo, as the um, High Representative for African Affairs of the AU. We hope the UN and uh, AU will strengthen their collaboration and jointly play a constructive role in promoting reconciliation among all Ethi Ethiopian parties through dialogue. The unilateral sanctions imposed by individual country on Ethiopia are inconsistent with the international law and the basic norms of international relations. Instead of resolving conflicts, they will only interfere with the political settlement. China believes the Ethiopian government has the ability and wisdom to handle its internal affairs well and firmly believes the Ethiopian people can overcome difficulties and tackle the current challenges. China stands ready to work along with the international community to support Ethiopia's commitment to national unity, restoration of stability, and achievement of development. Thank you, Mr. President.